modern living pterosaurs. Their sightings are found on several channels on YouTube. How to find them? See links in the description, beginning with, quote, legend or lie, tombstone thunderbird, unquote, on the channel Kagan 9. This newspaper article from 1890 is probably mostly fictional, but don't miss the surprise closer to the end. It could have some truth. The newspaper office still is standing there, a tombstone epitaph, but not everybody believes the wingspan was 160 feet for that creature. Not likely. In the early 20th century, an old rancher came forward. He and his buddy shot at the creature and did not kill it. Their horses became spooked and would not follow that thing. That's called horse sense. Video number two, Ropen of Arkansas Reenactment. The YouTube channel is The Ropen Network. The sighting was at a bridge in Arkansas in daylight. The eyewitness was stunned. This video also includes the explorer Rex Yappy in a short clip. Don't miss it. Video number three, pterosaur seen in the United States on the channel Dino Discovery. Mike Gordon interviews Milt Marcy and Peter Beach regarding bioluminescent flying creatures in the western U.S. and elsewhere, especially at the Yakima River in southeastern Washington state. Video number four, Ropen or Pterodactyl? American Eyewitness Talks. This man was in the Southwest Pacific in 1944 in New Guinea. He was a flight instructor when he was interviewed here in the year 2005. See the complete video. There's a fairly large clearing, uh, a grassy clearing. The grass is probably a old foot and a half or two feet high. We heard this thrashing coming through the brush and we, we both, that both, both of us that drew our attention to this, to this area, and then we saw this huge, great big, what I said, bird at that time, take off. I thought it was just a bird, you know. But anyway, it was huge. And uh, it, as, it, as it took off, the wing, I, I, I estimated the wing flaps were maybe about one or two seconds in, in frequency. And the brush all below was totally swaying from the, from the downrush of the air from these wings. This sighting by two American soldiers during World War II was just west of Finchhaven on the mainland of New Guinea. And so the creature flew out a little ways and we were discussing what in the world was that. And uh, here it turned around and came back and it was up probably, I would say, maybe 50 or 100 feet above us and flew right back alongside and we got a perfect side view of it and I was just totally fascinated. Hodgkinson estimated the wingspan was similar to that of a Piper Tripacer. People don't want to believe in the possibility that there are modern pterosaurs or live pterodactyls in the world. I can understand that. I mean, I've been through that situation myself late in the 1960s uh, regarding a sighting report from Altadena, California here. I might have been exposed to some idea about a modern pterosaur in some part of the world at some time in the distant past, but not to what I heard from this young lady, this girl from the high school, a friend of my younger sister's. And he said she saw a giant pterodactyl flying up into the mountains. It's just a few miles north of where we live. It was um, just something I couldn't believe at the time. I thought, this is impossible. That, that girl is crazy. How can she think that she saw a giant pterodactyl flying up into the mountains above her house? It's just it's too much. I couldn't handle it. I wasn't ready for that. Well, fast forward a few decades, and I'm getting into my, uh, at least into my 
middle age years, if not into my older years. And then my sister reminded me that. Now, by this time, I had been studying for the past uh, 18 years from now, which is 2022, at least 18 years, I've been studying this phenomenon that people all over the world are reporting modern pterosaurs. Pterodactyls is usually the word they use. Sometimes flying dinosaur, roping we call them, if they have a long tail. But now I had to make a phone call to this lady who's not young anymore, decades later, and apologize until I believe her, I'm willing to listen to her. So I know what it's like to be a skeptic and just say, oh, it's impossible. That there's a modern pterosaur, you know, close to where I live. This is too much. Cynthia Lee in Raleigh, North Carolina, recorded with her phone two large ropens. One was chased by a bird. We'll get back to this video footage a bit later, but first we'll hear from an eyewitness in a different area. I went to turn onto a highway. I looked up and I saw a large flying creature and it immediately drew my attention because its wings were not flapping like a bird's would. It was rolling kind of like a stingray in the ocean. I noticed it was different than anything I'd ever seen. It wasn't just a regular up and down, it was a rolling motion. 